morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Chopping It Up with Rob Mel. No notes, straight from the throat. Well, listen, I had to get at you. I'm on my way to work, as you can see, but I just wanted to make sure I get at you about last night's game. Listen, what a what a good finish that was last night. It was pretty exciting. With, with, with the season on the line for the Washington Wizards last night, their backcourt of John Wall and Bradley Bill came up big when it mattered. I mean, they just came up big. Shout out to the backcourt of Boston. They were led by Avery Bradley and uh, Isaiah Thomas. They both had 27 points apiece. They had uh, 54 points between them. Isaiah Thomas did manage to have seven assists, but he also had five turnovers. And he had that one bad steal late. Uh, where Mars, where Gortat stole the ball. But to me, this is about the backcourt of, uh, uh, of the Wizards. A couple of weeks ago, I posted on Facebook just just randomly, and I caused a, 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 a pretty pretty ruckus, a, 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 a pretty darn ruckus. I, I, I tell you that. When I posted, and I repeat, that I believe the best all-around backcourt in the NBA is the Washington Wizards. I believe Bradley Bill and John Wall is the best backcourt in the NBA. Yeah, I know Clay and Curry. I know their success. I know their accomplishment. And I know they're a the sexy pick. But when you watch the Wizards backcourt, and it's not just about offense, they defend. Uh, last night, we saw uh, John Wall in two occasions block. Blocked a three-pointer shot on on uh, Avery Bradley and blocked a, a, a key three-pointer on Isaiah Thomas. They get steals. This 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 backcourt, in my opinion, and I stand strong with it, and I challenge anybody. The Washington Wizards backcourt of John Wall and Bradley Bill is the best in the NBA. Hands down. Hands down. And I do believe that if you replace Curry... And and, and 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 Clay with Bradley Bill and and John Wall, Golden State is still a threat to win it all. But if you put Clay and Curry on Washington, I don't think they go no further than what we see right now. That's just my opinion, and I stand strong by it. And the reason why I say that Bradley Bill's game is not that far away from Clay Thompson. Okay, it's not that far, and and he's not. As bad of a defender as you think. He's not Clay, but he's not bad. And to me, John Wall is much better defender than Curry. A much better defender. Now, he don't have the stroke of Curry, but he has the productivity of Curry. Collectively, I believe they're the best backcourt in the game. And they showed it last night, not just on the offensive end, but on the defensive end as well. When it mattered, trapping defense, causing a steal, block shots. Listen, Wall was one for nine in the first half. Looked like he couldn't shoot it in the river. Right? He finished with 26 points and eight assists. Even when he's having a bad night, he's still controlling the pace of the game. He's still leading this charge. He's playing defense. Tremendous effort by the backcourt of, uh, of uh, Washington Wizards. Uh, Bradley Bill, 33 points, 5 assists. Yeah, oh, by the way, John Wall had 2 blocks. Bradley Bill had, uh, he, he got credit for a steal, but he was, he forced a couple of steals. Shout out to Keith, he, 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 he agrees with me. He believes that the backcourt of Washington Wizards is the best in, in, in the NBA. I agree with that statement, Keith. The fact that you agree with me makes it possible. Listen, the sexiest girl don't always make the best wife. Just because Clay and Thompson, Clay and Curry is the sexiest pick for the backcourt doesn't make them the best backcourt. John Wall said he wasn't going to be denied at his house. Boston Celtics came there, not as humble as they should be, but they came in there all dressed in black, talking about it's a funeral. Come on. <laughs> but they almost got the job done. But 
Almost is not good enough. Uh, Washington, good win at home to make this a best of one on Monday night. It should be must-see TV. should be fun to watch. Uh, I think Boston is going to win the game, but I'm rooting for Washington. And and I really think that is, is because it's at home. I mean, these guys have faced four times in the regular season, six times in the playoffs, and each team has won on their own home court. Why should that change now? But I'm rooting for Washington. I'm rooting for Washington. And the reason why I'm rooting for Washington, I actually like Isaiah Thomas a lot. You know, I, I, I would love to see Boston uh, uh, get there just because of what he's gone through, and I think he should be an MVP candidate. Uh, but the reason why I'm going with Washington, because I think Washington will give Cleveland a better fight. I just don't want to see Cleveland cakewalk through the finals. And and I just think that they'll beat Boston in five and maybe Washington in six. That That's how I feel about it. Uh, I... I I'm, I'm rooting for Washington to pull off the upset come Monday night. But if you haven't, if you're just tuning in, I'm going to repeat that last night showed to me why the Washington Wizards backcourt is the best in the game. Bradley Bill and John Wall is the best backcourt in the game. Not just because of offense, but when it matters, they play defense as well. The both of them. Not just one of them. The both of them. But excellent finish to that game. We'll get game seven Monday night. I'm not going to spend too much time because I do got to go to work. But tomorrow, the Western Conference Finals start. You got Golden State and San Antonio. This is what everybody thought. This is what we came to see. First game of the season, San Antonio opened up with Golden State. They blew Golden State out by 40. They made a statement. Let's see how they look come Sunday. I got Golden State winning this in six. In six. Pop is the master of adjustments and coaching, but he's going to have his hands full against this team right here. And as I say, what team is deeper than this team? Players go out, they still continue to win. Coaches goes out. Steve Kerr go out. Luke Walton goes 38-3 and three and gets a job. Luke Wal- uh, uh, Steve Kerr goes out again. This time they replace him with a, uh, with a coach that's been to the finals. Who's deeper than the Golden State Warriors? Can someone tell me? They have a deep roster and they have a deep coaching staff. <laughs> Who's deeper than them? I like for them to win this in six against San Antonio, but it should be fun games and good to watch. I do want to move along and touch on the, the Mets and the Yankees. Matt Harvey going through his stuff off the field issues. The dark night. It's not looking like the dark night. He he comes back after apologizing to his teammates after serving his three game suspension. He comes back and gives up five runs. And and, and and less than six in it. Three bombs. I don't know. Is this guy mentally damaged? Was it just a bad night? Can he shake it off and get the Mets pointed in the direction that they need to be heading as they lose last night 7-4? Is he finished? And have the Yankees hit a wall? I think they have a three-game uh, losing streak right now. They lost to the Houston Astros last night, which is one of the better teams in the league right now. But have the Yankees hit a wall? Have what we've seen thus far, has it start coming to an end? I think they lost three in a row now. Or do they regroup and come back and get a win today? Something to keep an eye on, both the Mets and the Yankees, as the Mets is beginning to slip away, sliding under 500 deeper, and the Yankees is looking like they're coming back down to earth, but can they turn around with a win today? As Benji says, uh, Harvey was awful. I think it's all in his head. I thought after the World Series, we should have traded him for a bat. I really thought so. Uh, The Mets and the Mets fans want to make him the next Tom Seaver, and he's just not that guy. He's just not that guy. I think the limelight in, 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 in New York might be getting to him. 
uh, the extra acti- extra curriculum might be getting to them. But at the end of the day, if the Mets is going to go somewhere, it's going to be because of this guy. He's going to be part of the reason. He makes up that trio. Him, Senegal, and DeGrom. Could be one of the best trios in baseball when healthy. Physically as well as mentally. But Matt Harvey's got to turn it to, turn it around. The Mets boast three aces, guys. Three aces. And they need them all to play like aces because they don't have aces in their lineup. Their bats are weak. So we need Matt Harvey to be Matt Harvey. The Dark Knight must return. Greg, shout out to Greg. He says the Warriors are going to win it all. I agree. He says the Yankees are going to win today. The Yankees need to win today because everything that they've achieved thus far, if they go on a four-game losing streak, five-game losing streak, it's going to start getting us to start thinking, is this the Yankees that we know? Is this the real Yankees? Was the previous Yankees just of admiration? So it is very to me, it's very important that the Yankees come back, regroup, and win today. Hey, with no NBA action tonight, hey, I recommend movie night, date night, whatever it might be. Uh, we'll resume activities probably tomorrow morning. I'll have an open forum taking calls tomorrow morning. I'm sure most of you who tune in may have a lot to say. Let's just hope both New York teams get a win today. But is the Houston Astros the best team in baseball as we speak? Is that the team to watch out? Are they the team to watch out? And does Boston get it done Monday night against Washington Wizards? And again, I will say, the Washington Wizards post the best backcourt in the NBA. And it was on display last night from an offensive standpoint and a defensive standpoint. I'll see you guys soon. This is Rob Mel for chopping it up with Rob Mel. No notes, straight from the throat. Y'all be good. Have a blessed day. Enjoy the rest of your week. We'll talk soon.